Hey, it's Adon here, AdonCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. In the previous video, I showed you how to compare some standard guitar chord shapes with the Dadgad equivalent. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the link below. In this video, I'm going to take it one step further and show you how to compare the movable bar shapes in, da in standard to the movable Dadgad shapes. And that should really open up the Dadgad guitar neck for you. Some are handy, some are not so handy, but we'll go for it anyway. So here is the F in standard tuning. This is a movable bar shape, if you don't know it, in standard. So this can change from an F, with your first finger on, on the first fret, up to a G, same shape, or an A, with your first finger on the fifth fret. So how do we change this to dadgad, a movable dadgad shape? Well, what's happened is the low E has moved down a tone to a D, so the F note that is on the first fret here has to go down a full tone, which is two frets. So that's going to be now on the third fret. So let's have a look at the dadgad equivalent. Here's the dadgad F, or the dadgad movable shape. Now we're not going to play the, the high, high A or the high D, just to keep it movable. There is a way uh, in future videos I'll show you to get a higher shape, but for the moment we're just going to keep this low shape. So in comparison we had the F, and if we were moving that up, with our first finger on the third fret to a G. How do we do that in Dadgad? We take this shape and we move it up two frets to the G. We move it up another two frets to the A, like we could in standard with that bar shape. So how do we do some minor shapes now? So we have this F minor in standard. How do we move this to an F minor in Dadgad? Well, the, the note that's on the G string is gonna stay where it is because that G string has not been tuned down. The notes on the low A and the D are not going to move because those haven't been tuned down, but the note on the low E has been moved down to a D. So that's going to be this, this here. So that's your F minor shape, but it's a movable shape. So like we could do F minor here, we could do a G minor, we could do A minor. So let's do that in Dadgad now. We have F minor. Move it up two frets, G minor, A minor. So they are movable shapes. Things get a little more tricky now when we move on to this. Say it's like an A shape, so it's a B flat in, in standard. So it gets tricky because the higher notes, the, the high A and the high D have now been moved down our tone in Dadgad. So things are gonna get a bit tricky with the stretches. So let's compare this, this um, shape in standard to the shape in Dadgad. Here it is. It's this big stretch with the fourth finger up. So that's moved up two frets. It's moved up one tone from where it was, if you look at the previous. So we're moving from here up to here. Not the handiest shape in the world to play, but it is movable. So we can take that shape, we can move it up. If we wanna play a D shape, so your, your D in standard would be here. What's happening, we're gonna move that, that little finger up. There is your D in standard, or in Dadgad. Now, we can simplify this in Dadgad so much because we have those open strings as well. So we don't have to play the first finger. We don't have to play the fourth finger. And it's still a D in Dadgad. But there are, if you wanted to play, for example, that B flat, you're gonna to have to keep that shape in place, which is a bit tricky. So we can make it a little bit easier then going to a minor. So here is your B flat minor, minor shape in standard. And what's happening now is that the note that's on your your previously your B high B string, your now your high A string has is going to move down a tone. So that's going to be moved from from here on the second fret up to the the fourth fret. So let's have a look at the Dadgad equivalent. B flat minor. So that's also a movable shape. So if we go all the way up, so our first finger is on the fifth fret, that's going to be D minor. We had D major, and now we're just D minor. 
like you would have in standard D major shape and the D minor shape. So they are your movable shapes in Dadget, two of which I think are quite handy, and two of which not so handy, but it's good to have them anyway and, and know them. And as I said, there are places that you can make things a lot easier in Dadget with those shapes because you have the option of open up those strings. But that will come in future lessons. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to see any more videos like this. And also check out the Dadget guitar cheat sheet, which is completely free. And I've packed a lot of stuff in that. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much.